Yeah, what's up YouTube? We're going to do another um, edit today with Portrait Pro 21 and this is just a quick, fast uh, beauty edit on a model, Amelia, with no makeup, just a little bit of lip gloss she was wearing on this day. And uh, let's see what we can do with this portrait within 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, here we go. So again, we're going to start off with the uh, face sculpt and we're just going to give a little bit more volume to the hair and we'll go to the face shape and just adjust that just a tad a lot of this you know it is down to your ability to see faces and eye not eye shapes but you know that the ability for yourself to adjust faces and see what works and what doesn't don't just leave everything to the program to do it itself because um the results they, they don't have differ and you know using the presets etc not not a good idea anyway so we're, we're, we're going ahead now with the um like i said the face sculpting part of the software we're not going to do anything with the expressions and all these expressions when you do them they just never look natural so i always leave them alone so the head forward we'll just bring the um, shape of the head in just a tad we're just going to slim it down just a just a little bit like i said just use your own eye um and if you think you're doing too much step away from the computer for a couple of minutes and then come back and have it adjust yourself um and see what the adjustments see if you've gone too far whatever anyway so again on this uh, 2.21 version it's got the updated skin smoothing effects so we're going to use a master fade just to bring everything up to around about half i do apologize for this taking a little bit slower than it should do it's because i'm recording at the same time so we're going to bring all these sliders up to around about 54 halfway if it decides to let me come on don't let me down i should just be quiet for one tick while i concentrate okay Right, we're going to leave that alone now, and then we're going to go up to the... What is going on? There we go. It is running a little bit behind what I'm doing. Right, so it's worked, I think. Let me just check. Skin smoothing. Yep, yeah, okay. So we're going to go to the makeup setting. Like I said, it's always nice to add just a bit of um, blusher in with any of these sort of portraits, but just... just slightly around this area just um it just helps the uh, images in my opinion so we'll bring that up to just around about like i said it's it's really good with these with portrait pro um to have well lit evenly lit images to get the best results that's only my opinion but that's what i seem to find works well for me and again, she's got great lashes, but we're just going to enhance them a bit more by adding some more lashes to them. We'll get them to around the 87% mark. And I think she would benefit on her eyes with a bit of eyeliner on the top. If we go too much, you can see there, we'll just zoom in just a tad. Eyeliner, eyeliner, eyeliner. Sorry, excuse me. Okay. Can we see? Yep. Just does a nice job of filling in them eyes for me and then we'll have lower eyeliner as well just lightly on the bottom i always find works well i always keep these to the the auto ones if we go on to the um thick cap type um, i'll do that in another video but we're going to just keep it the settings i use um don't want that one Oh, cat, no, where's it gone? Oh, there we go. Sorry. Cool. Right, so we're going to leave it there. And um, we'll leave that one as it is. Right, okay. Eyebrow pencil. We're just going to give a tad with the eyebrow pencil just to give them a little bit more definition. Then we're going to go down to the eyes one. Like I said, we're doing this as quite quick today. Just a little bit of eye whitening. Clean the eyes to about there. Sharpen them eyes up. Get them popping. Brighten the iris just a tad. And like I said, the 
the the effect that gives it the the wow factor i think is the the lighting control um that's the my favorite feature like i said if you've got a nicely lit picture to start with this lighting control comes into it its own adding the shadows back in and it just starts bringing the picture to light i'm getting the modeling light on just a little bit like i said this is quite extreme really so the contrast of this if you can see it makes the light area wider or shallower and for this portrait we're going to keep it around there like i said it is a lot of and again i'd never use the fixed lighting because it just makes everything look too fake um so we always add a bit of pout and um, we're going to sculpt the nose just a little bit to give it a little bit more definition as you can see there we're, we're getting in quite quickly and i'm just going to go back up to the uh, go go down to the makeup and we're just going to give some more lipstick definition do, 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 do. i was liking the color she had so i will keep it we've got the color grading here so we're going to bring it back down to the color from the original which is it was round about there i think but we've got a lot of gloss in that one so we're going to bring the lipstick down just a tad and go back to the lighting oh i sorry no sorry we're going to go back to lighting which is this one and a little bit of contrast to it a little bit more so it's going to focus that see it adjusted here I don't bother with a fixed lighting, like I said. Cheekbones. We're going to highlight the cheekbones up on this picture. Around about 48. And give her smoky eyes. It just brings her eye area into your eyesight more. And we'll get a little bit more scope on the moles. And that pout going you see where it puts a shadow just under here again you can see before and after now we've still got a few spots up here that we will edit in photoshop like i said i don't do all my editing with this software there is some fixes i still use in photoshop but i am happy with that with quite an extreme edit and we'll click on exit 100 percent Hopefully, I've done that in less than 10 minutes. And I have. 